Hi everyone, bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 2, Leçon D. So let's see what we'll discover together in this lesson. And we'll work on les adjectifs possessifs, so really useful. Um, well, in French, as usual, we will have the difference between masculin, masculine form. So for the masculine form, we'll have mon, mon. Ton, ton, son, son, notre, notre, votre, votre, leur, leur. Okay, so let's be clear, you know, when we talk about les adjectifs possessifs, in English it will be my, your, uh, his, uh, our, your, their. Okay, but then in French, well, basically we'll, we'll have the difference between the masculine, the feminine and the plural. And then keep in mind, we'll see that a bit later uh, when I will give you some examples, that in French we don't decide whether it's masculine, feminine or or plural according to the subject like in English because in English you put whether the masculine or the feminine according to the subject but we will in French put the masculine according to or the feminine or the plural according to the word it is connected to okay so it's quite important to just remember that because uh, it will basically, it will be really important for the, the decision whether you put the masculine or the feminine or the plural form, okay? So we saw first now here the masculine form. Let's check the feminine form and it's ma, ta, sa, okay? So you can see, it, well, well, of course differences, but then still, you know, it works like M, M, T, and then T, and S, S, okay? So, well, mon, masculine, ma, feminine form, ton, masculine form, ta, feminine form, son, masculine form, sa, feminine form. And then the good news is that notre is the same, votre is the same, and then leur is the same, okay? So you don't really have a difference between these three persons, you will have to use the same adjective possessive, okay? So the only difference is there, mon, ton, son, ma, ta, sa, okay? And now let's see the plural part here, okay? So for the phonetical or pronunciation aspect of it, then remember that this es uh, here combined will give you the sound e, okay? So you'll pronounce it like me. Me, me, okay, te, so logical, same pronunciation here, te, se, all right, so me, te, se, okay, and then for the plural, no, vo, and then leur, okay, so remember, even if you've got this final s, you don't pronounce it, as it was the case already for this word, no, you don't pronounce the final S, vo, doesn't you don't pronounce it, leur, okay, so if we see that one more time, it's me, te, se, and then no, vo, leur, okay, so let's see a few examples now, so for the masculine, mon père, Okay, so père means father, okay, so father is masculine, and so you will put mon père, so you will put here the masculine adjective possessive, my father, just because father is masculine, okay, so the, 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 the subject, the person who is actually talking about his father or her father, doesn't really uh, affect the fact that you use the masculine or the feminine here. You put the masculine because father is masculine, okay? So, vélo, bicycle, if you want to say my bicycle, you will say mon vélo, 
okay, just because vélo is masculine. Un vélo, and then mon vélo. All right, let's see now a few or two examples for the feminine. Uh, mother, mother is feminine, and then you will have ma mère. Ma mère, my mother, ma mère. Okay, here you've got voiture, voiture means car, a car, okay, and it's feminine, so une voiture. Same thing here, you will put the feminine form, ma voiture. Ma voiture. Okay, and let's see now for the plural. So, parents, parents. Mes parents. Okay, because it's the plural form here. Okay, so you get the plural form here as well. Mes parents. Okay, and then amis, friends. Okay, it's the plural form, so it's mes amis. Okay, and then let's be purist and make the, this beautiful liaison between these two words. Mes amis, mes amis, mes amis. All right. So I hope it's clear. Because, of course, as usual in French, we've got some exceptions. And the exceptions are for the feminine words. Like identité, for instance. Identité, so it does mean identity. Okay. Um, if you look carefully, at this word, you can notice that it is starting with a vowel, so E in that case, okay? And then for aesthetical reasons, we think that ma identité, so the way that normally you should, uh, you should put uh, the feminine form, so ma identité, doesn't sound nice, so for that reason, we put the masculine adjective possessive so remember with the words feminine words that start with a vowel like e here identité you will have to use les adjectifs possessifs masculin so the masculine form so it goes like mon identité mon identité so my identity mon identité mon identité okay another example address so same thing here address is a feminine word but then it starts with a okay same thing you will have to use adjective possessive masculin mon adresse mon adresse my address mon adresse mon adresse okay you can hear now this little link so you get to pronounce this n mon adresse mon adresse okay and the last one I, I took, same thing, opposition, opposition, well, basically feminine, but then it starts with the O, mon opposition, mon opposition, you make this link, huh? mon opposition, mon opposition, so let's repeat it one more time, mon identité, mon adresse, mon opposition, okay, I hope everything was okay with you uh, so it was leçon d okay so remember to check for the next lesson and the previous lessons there here and then you get of course more material at the following website www.imagier.net okay bye bye